All right, guys, welcome to another video, and we have something very interesting going on today. Now, to the right, of course, you see the Mi 11X that is running a China build of MIUI 14, and to the left, we have our beloved Poco X3 Pro, which is running a global version of MIUI 14. Now, why are we comparing this, you ask? Because these are two different devices. Well, of course, Chinese updates of MIUI are much better much more feature rich and I actually want to call out Xiaomi and Poco with this particular video stating that all the updates for all the devices globally should have an equal amount of quality and features and probably we will also start a petition regarding the same. So hello everyone, my name is Kalash and you're watching Phone Ops. If you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really makes a lot of difference every subscriber that is added to the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, right off the bat, as we can see, Poco, Xiaomi, that means MIA 14 China and MIA 14 Global on the Poco X3 Pro. So first, let's actually go to settings on both the devices one by one. And let's actually go to about and maybe go to about over here as well. Now, if you go to the MIUI version, this is 14.0.1 and this is 14.0.5. Now, that's not really the point. What really matters here is, is, as you can see, it does say TJUMIXM. That means it is a global version and whatever is Chinese, it will have CN mentioned over here. And apart from this, from the word get go, you can see that the animations are slightly different on both the devices. If you can see the Poco launcher over here, is not really giving us any animated icons no matter what app you open so as you can see everything works smoothly no doubt but if you look at this there you go the whole icon pops in and pops out no matter what application as long as it is a system application you will have a very cohesive and very very beautiful experience so that is one of the first things that you will notice now secondly a lot of people say that in the indian update or the global update versus the chinese update the home screen looks similar now, as you can see on this poco launcher although this is mii 14 the look and feel that you have right now is of mii 13 versus over here if you see you know you have these super folders you have these different sized widgets and if you press and hold over here or you can press and hold on any other icon for example you will see all these options like edit icon these options are definitely missing from the global update no matter what you do even if it is an indian update this feature which was highly advertised by xiaomi or poco that it is a mi ui 14 highlight is clearly missing now another notable change over here is this of course comes with the mi ui dialer and mi ui messaging now what that means is especially when you're talking about the dialer you don't have that call recording prompt so the other person will not come to know that you're recording the call but on the poco launcher as well in the global update you will most of the time see that you might have the miui launcher but on indian variants as you can see you will have the google dialer and google messaging so that is another thing that they should definitely change and improve in the global and indian updates now remember recently we talked about super icons being there or any other icon features so if you press and hold over here let's go to mii 14 here now, as you can see, you directly have an option of widgets over here and all the corresponding widgets to wallet will be shown as long as you have an internet connection. Now, let's go to the home screen. And once again, maybe let's go to this app, edit icon. So let's first move it out of the folder here and let's go to edit icon and hit agree. So it will actually take you to a store or an online option. You have a ton of icon options and the best part is you have very new and customized paid icons as well. So that feature as well is clearly missing. At the same time, as I said, you know, you have direct shortcuts over here, like check weather, 24 hour forecast and stuff. So some features are there as far as the Indian or global MIA 14 is concerned, but most of the home screen customizations are definitely missing. For example, if you look at this folder, this is sort of a super folder. And as you can see, if you long press over here, you have this option of edit folder. So as I said, you know, you can have a regular view over here. And if you say hit OK, you will see that this is a regular folder. If you hit edit, enlarge one, this option is clearly missing here, although there are workarounds to get it working and you have a double XL as well. So if you go ahead and do this, as you can see, 
it looks pretty pretty decent at the same time the good thing here is you can directly launch apps from within the folder so you know such important and interesting features which actually improve your experience from say a MIUI 13 to MIUI 14 well I think Xiaomi should definitely include those in the global and Indian variants as well now moving on apart from super folder if you talk about the control center over here you see this music player over here that is clearly missing it was added in one of the betas for Poco or Xiaomi devices in India and globally but now in the final version the music player is definitely missing you do have something called a smart devices which not many of us use but yeah that is clearly missing here as well all right now another notable change over here let's actually long press on the home screen of both the devices and let's go to the widgets menu right let's see here there is a clear difference you know I mean in both them both of them there is a clear difference this is an old MIUI 13 widget style that you still get in global and Indian devices even with MIUI 14 but as far as you know this Chinese version is concerned just see how snappy with these beautiful animations it is and as long as your internet connection is working fine it will just keep on scrolling there are endless widgets including paid ones beautiful looking widgets that you, that you can actually use on Chinese updates which in my opinion is a big letdown for Indian and global users I really don't know why Xiaomi is skipping out on so many features especially from the global and Indian updates now once again let's also talk about this widget feature you have this widget over here you long press this you have this option of switch so it allows you to switch to a different widget without you know repositioning it or removing it and stuff so I mean come on that option is missing as well clearly not present in MIUI 14 now that was the front end over here of course to the left you have app vault which is completely new and in global updates you will always see google feed i would prefer google feed any day over app vault so no complaints there now let's quickly move on to settings okay now as you can see both of them have brand new icons as far as settings are concerned but the font is a little different in both of them and in chinese updates you have this mi account over here and then you have my device over here and it looks a little different over here that's the case since 12 13 as well so no big changes here but if you go to about phone my device it says detailed info and specs detailed info and specs check for available benefits so some options are missing here which are specific to the Chinese region and I won't complain there so if you go to the display section and you go to the display section on this one go to schedule dark mode or let's enable dark mode for a second on both the devices and more dark mode settings now adjust wallpaper to dark mode these two options are present and for some reason in the Chinese update the individual dark mode settings are missing so that is something that I would love in the Chinese update but anyways we are comparing otherwise you do have the refresh rate options and all the other things and as you can see both of them are more or less the same so if you go to control center and status bar again you know very similar settings over here notch individual apps no changes here as well now let's talk about this wallpaper and personalization and this section or this subsection of MIUI has been missing since a long time in the global version I really really don't know why because even if you go to say home screen customization or you go to say wallpaper you directly are taken to the wallpaper screen now as you can see over here it looks different it has all the things organized and even over here if you go to notification and control center control center style more or less the same but this wallpaper and personalization menu is something that is missing since a long time now one more interesting thing in the chinese update you have something called as security right and over here you have mii warning emergency earthquake all those things they might be china specific but this is something very very interesting anti-fraud protection they are offering this service for whatever reason only in china probably they have a good access of the Chinese uh, you know contacts number or phone number database and stuff but this is something which covers your screencasting web browsing apps messages and calls so something on the similar lines in the global version of MIUI 14 would have been really really appreciated but that is plain missing not available another thing to note over here when you get these notifications in MIUI 14 in China you have this option of group notifications and stuff right restrict un unimportant 
more so the notifications are much more cohesive as far as mii 14 in china is concerned if you have a single app sending you multiple notifications well they will be grouped together and the same thing is clearly missing from the indian as well as the global updates now let's further move to another sub menu which is very very interesting that is battery so let's go to the battery section on both the devices here now as you can see more or less the same right everything looks absolutely the same the moment you switch to this particular tab that is battery as you can see temperature it is clickable now although it is not a big deal but it gives you all the information about how to charge and discharge your battery and stuff this is clickable as well these two options are not clickable over here now something very interesting is automated tasks now this is something which definitely should be there in the global and the indian updates because it allows you to do a whole lot of things for which ideally in the indian version of this update you would probably need to put another app like tasker or something so when your battery reaches 20% turn on silent mode or if you click on plus you can create your own condition this is very very intuitive and works pretty well as well now i'm really really upset that that is not available but yes this is yet another important and beautiful feature that is missing from the indian update or the global update of mii 14 now let's actually go to apps and let's go to apps okay now as you can see everything is the same now the moment you go over here you won't see mi protect in the global update over here so what this basically does is it takes care of your entire security system so if you are installing a apk from any other source like not from the play store it will actually scan the apk it will warn you and stuff like that similarly if you are using a banking application and stuff like that it is capable of giving you warnings now i'm not saying this particular system is as secure as ios or google's own pure android but one layer of security is always better than not having it right now if you actually go to the security apk of the global version versus the security apk of the indian version you will see that there are a few changes here and there and overall the animation see animation the preview of a lot of sub menus in the chinese version is much much better so you know those are so many things that they have not given to the global and indian users i will probably put in a petition link at the description of this video go ahead and sign up there let's tell xiaomi and poco that in the global devices and indian devices as well we want all these beautiful features to be present because hey it makes a difference and we are not buying any inferior devices let me know in the comment section what do you think about the video i'll see you in the next one keep smiling take care goodbye